Hello. Oh, what's going on, YouTube? It's Chris, the star of the show. Back with you for another video. How you all are doing this morning, this evening, whenever you're watching this video, it doesn't matter. I hope you all having a good day, a blessed night. Hopefully 2021 is going off to a great, fantastic start. Today, we're going to talk about money. It's one of my favorite topics. It's what I went to school for. So obviously, I'm excited. I'm having a good time. So we're going to talk about specifically budgeting. You know, budget, every person needs to have a budget. You know, it is a tool to make sure that the money that we're bringing in, we're not spending all of it. So we're not living paycheck to paycheck. We're not struggling out here. We're actually living within our means and we can afford what we're buying. A lot of people out here are just spending money, all their money. And they come to me like, hey, oh, that's all I have left at the end of the month. What am I supposed to do with it? Well, let's go over your budget and make sure that you're not spending on unnecessary things. Now, there are two kinds of expenses. There are fixed expenses and there are variable expenses. When we talk about fixed expenses, we're saying rent, car note, car insurance. If you have a mortgage, amen. These items don't change to month to month. They're always going to be the same. Your rent going to be $1,000 every month. Boom, boom, boom. Phone bill should be hopefully the same price every month. Boom, boom, boom. Those are fixed expenses. Now, when we're talking about variable, that's where we get kind of crazy. You know what I mean? We talk about shopping, buying clothes for these women, entertaining yourself. I don't know how you want to do that. Y'all like to eat. Let me get all the rest. This is how much money y'all spend on eating. All this money y'all spend on eating out all that stuff, DoorDash, all them things like that. Those are variable expenses. So once we know that, we take the money that we're bringing in and we subtract all the fixed and variable expenses, we have to ask ourselves, do we have a surplus? Is it a positive number there? Or is there a deficit? Is there a negative number there? Are we living paycheck to paycheck? Are we not really affording the life that we're portraying that we're living? You know, so we have to make sure we ask ourselves and we have to be honest about that. If you are only hurting yourself and your family, the people that you look after, if you're not being truthful about your budget and how much you're spending per month. But Chris, man, you know, I'm making this money. I'll be honest with you. I really don't use a budget. I don't know how much money I should spend on savings, how much money I should spend on debt, how much I'd be living on my living expenses, my fixed and variable expenses. What should I do? You know what? I am glad that you ask. So in this exercise, in this video, we're going to actually going to take this $10,000 here. We're going to take this $10,000 and we're going to make a budget out of this $10,000. All right. I thought somebody called me. Let's get started. Real quick, before we get started with the exercise, I'm using $10,000 per month as an example. So if you're bringing in $5,000, $3,000, $20,000, however much money you're bringing in, make sure you all use your math, use your calculator on your phone to make sure you convert it over correctly. Like I said, it was just easy for me to use $10,000 because it's $1,000 here, $1,000 there, blah, blah, blah. You, you, you get the picture. Y'all following me. So that's what we're going to do. So let me, get, let me get my life together real quick. Cool. First thing you need to do is pay yourself. All right? You need to pay yourself 10%. $1,000 out of the $10,000 you are bringing in to savings. At least do that. That's at least 10% of whatever you're bringing in per month needs to go into your savings account. Pay yourself first. All right? 10%. Boom. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do the living expenses, which means your fixed and variable expenses. Put that together. Those are your living expenses. So your rent, your mortgage, your car note, Shopping for yourself. How much money I got for a thousand? You know, eating out, entertainment. So your living expenses should be $6,000 or 60% of whatever monthly income you're bringing. So like I said, you got 10% of your money, go to saving. 60% of your money should be go to living expenses. Now, this is where people mess up at, all right? People usually live off of 90% of their money, and then they, they want to save, they want to pay bills, they want to tithe, they want to do all this with just the extra other 10%, which is very impossible. So we don't want to live paycheck to paycheck if you are a high care to high value man. We want to make sure that we are good stewards with our money. If I can count, 
good stewards with our money so we can live and thrive and have a decent lifestyle off of 60% of what we make per month, then that gives us a lot of wiggle room, a lot of wiggle room. Like I said, this is after you paid yourself. You paid yourself the 10%. Now you got 60 to live off of, guess what? You still have another 3,000 or 30% of what you can do with your money. Now, this other 10 right here, savings and investments. You know, so you can save more or you can invest in, I don't know, whatever coin y'all want to invest in. Coin, Bitcoin, Doll Coin, Fruit of Loom, GameStop, whatever y'all got going on, you can use that extra 10% to dabble into that. Now, this video is sponsored by Current. Current is a new way of banking. It's completely online. I know some of you all don't like brick and mortars, don't like these big bank institutions. So we have partnered with Current. This is a new way to bank. Now, I understand this car ships free. They have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of ATMs that you can use. Also, you can earn points and you can redeem cash back on purchases. So it's like a credit card, but it's a debit card. Because usually only credit cards gives you points and redeem cash. But current lets you do it with your debit card. Also, it can link to your Google Play. It can link to your Cash App, to your Venmo, Apple Pay, all those things. Current is the solution. Like I said, we checked it out. We are partnering with, with these guys. We approve. So make sure you get on current. So current slash the roommates pod. That's how you sign up. It only takes two minutes. Current slash the roommates pods. Make sure you check them out. So real quick for a review, we have our 10% that we're saving to ourselves. You paid yourself first, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, cool. Then we have our 60% that we're living off of. Our fixed and variable expenses are all right here. Okay, boom, cool. Then we have another 10% that we can invest or you can save some more. So like I said, if you want to daggum bet on sports games or you want to invest in your retirement, Make sure you use this other 10%. All right. Now, our next 10% is what we're going to call tithing slash giving. You know, since our God has blessed us in our position, we want to make sure that we can give back. We can, you know, help some people out, whether organization, nonprofit. Make sure you give money back to make the world a better place. Use that other 10% to do that. Now, this last 10%, this last $1,000. Chris, what do I do with that? Do I stun on people? Do I take my girl out on a nice little dinner, a nice little vacation, some slight? Honestly, it's up to you. This last 10% is what is what I call financial behavior is what it is important to you. So this last 10% can go into savings. You know, you can add a double up your savings account. You can double up in your in your investments. Um, your stocks, your bonds, Bitcoin, coin, coin, all those different things. You know, you can live a little bit more lavishly if you want to. It's up to you because you did all the necessary foundational stuff. Or, and this is probably what the answer really should be, pay down your debt. Student loan debt, credit card debt, whatever, car note, mortgages, whatever you want to do. This, t this last 10%, this last $1,000, make sure it is going to something important. So like I said, it can be savings. It can pay down towards debt. It can be investing again. Whatever, I'm leaving this $1,000, this last 10% up to you. Here at the Roommates Podcast, we care about the entirety of the man. Not only the inner stuff. We know we preach the inner stuff of a lot. The healing, get yourself together, you know, make sure you get over the wounds in your past, et cetera, et cetera. All those things are very important. Also, we care about the outer look, how you present yourself, the clothes that you wear, how you feel about yourself, what people say about you when they walk in the room, how you communicate those things are extremely very, very important to us. But also, we understand that we're going, we're creating high character, high value men, and these men will make some money. Now, if you're going to be a part of us, you have to be, be able to make sure you steward your money well, because to be honest with you, this, like I said, it doesn't make you valuable. But it does show me a lot of things about a man. It shows me how disciplined he is. It shows me his level of responsibility. It shows me what he truly cares about and what he values. So we are practicing good stewardship and good financial habits and good financial benefits. Then not only is it going to affect us, but it's going to affect our family in the world. And not only will it affect our family, but it's going to affect our generation. It's going to affect our people, our culture. You know, it's on us to make sure that we use 
this and we use it well. You know, it's too many tools out there. It's too many educational videos. It's too many PowerPoints, et cetera, et cetera, courses, whatever you want to call it, on financial literacy. You know, and this is something that we're going to continue to preach and we're going to continue to practice because we understand that it's about the entirety of the man. How you steward your money, how you make your financial decisions also shares a lot about who you are as a person. So, yeah, that's how you make a budget roommate style. So, once again, we're going to go over it. 10% goes to savings. 60%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 60% goes to living expenses, another 10% goes to investments and or savings, another 10% goes to tithing and or giving to whatever charity, nonprofit, wherever you want. The last 10% is up to you. Like I said, you can pay down debt, you can add to more savings, you can add to more investing, you can do whatever you want to do with this last 10%. It is up to you. This is Chris to start the show. New podcast comes out every single Monday. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sign up for Patreon where there is new exclusive content and level of courses there. Share, share, share. Chris to start the show. I'm out.